What's up, everybody? It's AJA. I'm going to show you how to work song mode. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make a song. I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to click the song button right quick. Let's click on new. All right. And then over here on my left, you'll see factory, and you're going to see user. Factory is all the list of patterns that we made, all the beats that we made. User is where all the beats that you make will go. But for this example, um, I'm going to uh, pick a pattern that you know that we've made. So once again, let me start over again. Just click song button, take you to the main song screen. Click new. Over here on the left, you got your patterns, user and factory. And now all I gotta do is this first slot. I'm gonna say I want this one, and I want it to loop one time. So that's fine. Now let's go to the next little slot, and I want blip two to play. Loop one time is fine. I want blip three to play, so I'm gonna, I want that to play two times, and then I want um, blip four to play one time, and then that's the end. All right. So I got that, and now let me show you how it plays. Turn on my effects here. Sorry, this pattern sounds good with effects, and it works just like this. And when I hit play, it'll play it back. Watch. You see how the list moves up every time it switches patterns, and it tells you how many times it's gonna loop too. See? See? Now it's gonna loop twice. I can also exit out here, and you can see your bar and beat counter right here too. See? see? Loop two or two, and then the next one will play with the little bongo drums. Uh 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 uh. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. I hope you agree. And then that's the end of your song. You could go into a whole nother pattern and take it wherever you want it to go. Real simple, quick, and easy, and reliable. And just click save here. I'm going to name it. I'm going to call it um, That Bounce. And just click OK. And there's that bounce. So after I name it, you'll see right over here in the left hand side, you'll see that bounce. And I can load that anytime I want. You know. And uh, one other little note here. Um, it's a little um, quick tip. If anytime you want to go back to the beginning, you can still use your transports here. Or you can skip forward a measure. Or a whole beat just by clicking this button. See? Or I can go back. Just that easy. Quick, easy, reliable. It works great. Song mode. So, once I have my song done, if I want to export it, I can export it. Just click on export, click live off, say record, and then hit play. Boom. And I can call that that bounce. I'm done. It's there, just like that. Um, and so now, you know what I mean? I got that song and, and everything. I can pull it up in iTunes, I can burn it to a CD, whatever. Now let me show you how to get that song, access to that song. So I've got my little folder here with my samples in it. And now I'm looking for that bounce. Export that bounce. See, I got a bunch of stuff I've been exporting because I've been using this thing. I'll be on it. That bounce. Boom, baby. There it is. Look, see? See that? See that? Look. Got it. It's right there. I could drag that into iTunes. I could do whatever I want with it. And uh, it'd be ready to go.